Hello everyone. The purpose of this video lecture is to draw the molecular orbital diagram of ferrocene and organometallic compound in a very simplified and easy to understand way. This video lecture is divided into two parts, part 1 and part 2. Part 1 is describing the structure and part 2 is describing the bonding part. Uh, we will do it step by step. So, it is a good idea to do the practice while watching the video. But before we start how to do it, let us pay a little attention to the historical and the structural aspect of the molecule. Uh, this discovery of the remarkably stable organometallic compound ferrocene occurred in 1951. And the two researchers, Ernest Otto Fischer from Germany and Geoffrey Wilkinson from United Kingdom, were awarded the Nobel Prize in 1973 for their contribution. And it was only the second Nobel Prize in the field of coordination chemistry after the uh, prize of Alfred Werner, who was awarded in 1913 for his work on the coordination compound. And he is also known as the father of the coordination chemistry. The discussion of bonding does not depend critically on whether the preferred rotational orientation of the two cyclopentadiene ring is staggered, that is D5D or Eclipse D5X, because the barrier to ring rotation in all type of metal arene complex is very small. It is round. 10 to 20 kJ per mole and in case of ferrocene, it is approximately 5 kJ per mole. So, by applying the concept of nodal planes and the group theory, we will easily explain the construction, construction of the MO diagram of the ferrocene. Uh, as I pronounced group theory, some may think about uh, some toe visualization or some scary mathematics, uh, but don't worry, we are not going into the uh, that advanced aspects or that advanced application of the group theory. We are just using only the uh, simple or very familiar application of the group theory to explain the MO diagram in a very simple way. So, let us start and I am Dr. Kulu. So, let us start with the ferrocene. Ferrocene is a yellow orange colored air stable organometallic compound with a melting point of 173, 173 degree centigrade. It is remarkably very stable compound. It is also known as a sandwich compound. This is the physical appearance of the compound. It is a yellow orange compound. And it is a sandwich structure. You can see in this structure there is a CP ring and there is another CP ring, one CP ring above, other is below, and there is iron sandwiches between the two CP rings. So, this structure is very closely resembling a sandwich. So that is why these compounds, these type of compounds are known as the sandwich compounds. The molecular formula of ferrocene is iron C5H5 twice. The oxidation state of iron in this compound is 2 plus. So, there is minus 1 charge on each CP, C5H5 minus and C5H5 minus. So, there is 2 minus which is balanced by the 2 plus on the iron. The IOPC name of ferrocene is bis eta 5 cyclopentadienyl iron. This means there are two CP ring. Eta 5 means the all the 5 carbon of CP ring are attached with the iron. So, there are two CP ring. So, all the 10 carbon are bonding with the iron. Iron 2, iron 2 plus center. Uh, as far as the Concern of uh, its synthesis, 
it can be done by forcing the vapor of cyclopentadiene C5H6 over freshly reduced iron at 300 degrees centigrade and we will get the corresponding ferrous. Then come to the structure part. This is the structure of the ferrocene. You can see there are two CP rings and one iron. The oxidation state of iron is 2 plus as I already told you and there are two CP rings. The two CP rings are negatively charged and iron is positively charged. There is two minus on the two CP and there is two plus on the iron side. The average distance of carbon from the iron is 204 picometer and the distance between the two ring, the center of two ring is 332 picometer and the carbon carbon distance, all the carbon carbon distance are same in both the ring and it is 141 picometer which indicates an aromatic character in the CP ring, cyclopentadienyl ring. Then there are several confirmations because the two ring take several confirmations with respect to each. The two extreme are eclipse when one ring covers the other ring completely and other one is staggered like this. Which orientation will be preferred? It depends upon the temperature. In the solid state, the compound exists in the staggered form and in the gas phase, it exists in eclipse. Eclipse is D5H and staggered is D5D. So, depending upon the temperature, we have different orientation of the ring. In the eclipse confirmation, the angle between the two rings is 0 and the staggered confirmation of angle between the two rings is 36 degree. The angle in between 0 and 36 is also possible. So, these are also the confirmation, but we are considering only the two extreme stagger and the eclipse confirmation. And the rotational barrier between these two confirmation is very small, approximately 4 kg per hour. So, this is a side view of the staggered and eclipse confirmation. If you want to see the top view, if you want to See along this side, along the this axis, then how it will look like? It will look like this. This the left hand side structure is eclipse. A one ring is completely above the ring. This is eclipse, and it is a staggered form. This is a pentagon. The all the angles in pentagon are 108 degree. If we Join the these two carbon atoms with the center. There is formation of other angle. This angle is 72 degree. This angle is 72 degree. If we just divide this angle into two equal portions, then we will get the angle of 36. So the angle between these two rings is 36 degree in this table, and it is zero degree in the eclipse form. So, these two are the extreme. An angle of uh, any other value that is from uh, in between 0 and 36 is also possible. These are also the orientation. But these two are the extreme. When angle is 0, it is eclipse. When angle is 36 degree, it is staggered. But value of angle in between 0 and 36 is also possible. And these are the some other Confirmation of the multiple. And this is another other way to another way to represent the structure of the kerosene. It is known as the ball and stick model. Here it is shown for the staggered confirmation. And this is also known as the double cone model. And this is for the eclipse confirmation. So there are several ways to draw the confirmation, to draw the structure of the kerosene. It is double cone model, it may be balanced model, sometimes it is shown as in space filling model, 
and sometimes it is shown as lipsoid. So there are several uh, ways to represent the structure of the ferrous. So in this part, we are just uh, discussing the structure aspects of the ferrocene, and I am stopping here, and I will start from the uh, bonding part in the part two. Thank you, thank you very much for watching the video.